It's another great skiing exhibition, folks. The great Swedish skiing superstar is just about to break the world's record. Oh, goody, goody. I love skiing, yeah. Nothing in the world gives me so much joy. <gasps> What do you think you are doing? Wondering who would watch an old-fashioned sport like skiing. Hey, was watching it. Oh, so you're old-fashioned. Get your hands off of me. You better watch it, Woodpecker. Skiing is the sport of my fatherland. Ah, uh, more like the sport of your grandfatherland. Snowboarding's where it's at. Yeah, well, skiing's the greatest sport. Snowboarding. Skiing. I still say snowboarding's the best. Can't decide on the best method to get down a frozen mountain? Then you should sign up for the Inertia-thon, the all-out freestyle race to the bottom of Mount Incline Plain. It's the downhill experience of a lifetime. What's in it for you? Well, the first to reach the bottom wins 50 bucks, a year's supply of cornmeal, and a firm handshake. This will settle it once and for all, you bet. I challenge you to the race. You're on. Well, here we are with two lively contestants who hope to settle the debate of which is better. Ski! Snowboarding! <laughs> Although there's some folk who stick to the old standby to bargaining. Hiya, buddy. Oh, so bargaining! <laughs> 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 Well, I guess this little difference of opinion will be settled on the slopes. Racers to your marks. Hey, Wally, your boots are untied. Hold my poles, Bootpacker. Get set. Bootpacker, my poles. Here you go. I need some ski vax. If he wants to stick to skiing, I'll make him stick but good. This glue will do the trick. <laughs> skiing, I will go. Skiing, I will go. I will beat the woodpecker and make him eat my snow. Try snowboarding, Wally. I'm a ski. I show them a thing or two. Ah! Well, at least I landed safely. Sure showed that too, Planker. Hmm. <laughs> Wally get through that. Oh, ogly mogly. Moguls are my specialty. Woodpecker! See you later, Wally. <laughs> yeah, hello? This is Wally. Remember that favor you said you owed me? 
people, I want the woodpecker taken care of. You know what I mean? Consider it done. Mm -hmm. Swedish meatballs. Time to meet your maker, Voidpecker. Get it? Meet your maker. <laughs> I crack myself up sometimes. Oh my gosh! Swedish Hitman! Oh yeah? Bye bye. <laughs> Goody, there's the finish line. Another great toboggan victory! How does tobogganing compare with skiing and snowboarding? I told you! World's greatest sport is tobogganing! Nothing higher! Nothing closer to perfection! How many times do I have to tell you? Can you people get a three reds? Tobogganing rules! Oh, it's my purpose in life. Hey, Winnie! Guess who? <laughs> <laughs> ah, Saturday morning, my favorite TV watching time. Huh? <laughs> Winnie! Your big screen TV is gone! Yep, I sold it. So I could do something fun and exciting with the money. What could be more fun than watching TV? On your super big screen TV, to be exact. Well, flying lessons for one thing. And flying lessons with wings, bander, house, and hose, and flowers, and a dreamy foreign pilot for another. See you, Woody. <laughs> Gotta stop her from spending that money on flying lessons and get her to buy the TV back. and hosen flousen, uh, housen, sousen, season, Susan? <laughs> Don't call me Susan. But of course, you knew that, didn't you? Uh, making a note of it right now. Uh, never call a big guy Susan. Are you here for lessons? No, no, I'm here to tell you that you've been inducted into the... <laughs> Flying Hall of Fame. At long last, my boyhood dream comes true. So long, propeller head. In no time at all, I'll have Winnie begging to buy her big screen TV back. But of course, you knew that, didn't you? Wings, Bander, Hausen, Hosen, Flausen has moved. Just follow the arrows to new location. I'm all that. Oh, my! I am Wings, Bander, Hausen, Hausen, Flausen, Ace, Flying Ace. But of course, you knew that, didn't you? I want to learn to fly! Oh, you want to fly! Isn't that modern of you? <laughs> Here is a plane for you. <laughs> hey, you'll see, I'm a very quick study. Well then, quickly a study my instructional home video. It's best viewed on, say, a large screen TV. Uh, I'm more of a hands-on kind of girl. Come on! What's this do, Wings? 
It is to test uh, G forces. <laughs> More G's. <laughs> More G's. Uh, no, Pat. I'd like to solve the puzzle. I'll have Winnie begging to go home and watch TV in no time. <laughs> <laughs> Mi amor, now that you have survived the G-forces, let's see how you handle the parachute. Ah! Why don't you just go home and watch some TV? <laughs> flying ace, huh? <laughs> More like flying disgrace. All right, Woody, I'm going to call you a bluff. I'm going to make you earn your wings or fly trial. I'm ready for my first flight, Mr. Vanderhausen, Hosenflausen. Uh, is this the right button? watching TV, Woody. Winnie, you still have the money. Let's go buy your big screen TV back now, please. No way, Woody. We're using it next Saturday for shark cage diving. <laughs> Sail the seas. See the world. Free grub. Oh, boy. That's for me. Where's all the grub? Waits for me! You got the wrong sailor! Ooh, a costume sea party. Cha-cha-cha. Now that's something I could get into. Roll call! The food line. Okey? Yeah. Corky? Hello. Thompson? Thompson. <laughs> Thompson. Oh, Thompson. Thompson! <laughs> and someone Captain Redwood calls your name Thompson? Hold on. I'm not Thompson. What do you mean you're not Thompson? Picked you up in the dock like you wanted. Ah, oh, this is getting boring. I'm here for the free food. <laughs> If you're not Thompson, what be your name then? Arr. It be Woody. Arr. Arr, me hearty. That's a fine sailing name. Uh, 
but where's your sea leg? Se sea leg? I sea leg. Every real pirate's got a sea leg. Don't we, mateys? I can't. I've got two good ones about left, unfortunately. He's not a pirate, Captain. <coughs> no, sir. He's one of those, um, land creatures. Hey, I'm no landlubber. Captain, he took your sword. Get my sword! Give right, me right, 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 right. back his sword! He be the infamous pirate, Woody Muckpacker, scourge of the seven seas. Oh, that's got to hurt. Boys? We got us a stowaway, and you know what that means. Ah, yes. yeah. Actually, no. No, no not as know. such, no. What happens when you do something wrong? <laughs> we get punished? Exactly! So we should... Um, punish him! Punish him! Hmm, can't do that. I don't know how to do that. Oh, boy! Let's tar and feather him! But I've already got feathers. No. Ah, and we don't have no tar. Take him to the rack! Yay! Tie him to the rack! Oh, shoot, guys. I'm too short to tie to the rack. I'll just go home now. Not so fast there, land lover. Hmm. I mean, are The plank! We'll have him walk the plank! The plank! The plank! The plank! All righty! Now walk. Some vacation this is. And no food. to you guys. How? Well, I'm a woodpecker. A woodpecker? What's a woodpecker? I don't know. No, oh, we don't need no stick at woodpecker! <laughs> Look! Ooh, pretty. Uh, can you do a skull and crossbones? Ah, ah, there ain't nothing like a pint of ale. Oh, uh, that's uh, ginger ale, kiddies. <laughs> what are we going to do now, Captain? Well, um, have we raided other ships? Yeah. Um, plundered? Oh, yes. And we sang that Yo-Ho-Ho -ho song? I believe so, sir. Oh, then I guess there's nothing left. We've done all a pirate could do. No more adventure. What about a mutiny? Oh, what's that? A mutiny is like a big party, and you get to take over the ship. Oh, boy. <laughs> How about we have a mutiny party? Mutiny, mutiny, mutiny! Oh, I love a good mutiny, Arthur. Oh, why you? You'll pay for this. All right, swabbies. I'm Captain now, and I say we head for sure. Bye. Bye-bye now. See ya. Hate to be ya. Good riddance. So long. Goodbye. Goodbye. See you later. So long. <laughs> huh? Oh, boy. Free grab. Smorgasbord. That's for me. No, Ollie, don't! It's all a cruel trick! The pirates! And the ships! With the rack! And the plank! Tar and feathered! I finally... They were ghosts, man! <laughs> <laughs> Very funny! Ghost pirates! <laughs> Crazy woodpecker! <laughs> no! Wait! <laughs> 
Oh no, not again. Order, order in the court. Now, Mr. Woodpecker, please tell us precisely what happened on the day in question. Well, there I was, Your Honor, sitting on the bench waiting for the bus. When along comes Mr. Inconsiderate and plops his oversized you-know-what right on top of me. He then threw me headlong into a tree. Luckily, a doctor witnessed the whole thing and offered his professional advice immediately. Have you recently been involved in an accident that could cause you pain and suffering for years to come? Call me. You may just get yourself a huge settlement. And that is the whole truth, Your Honorship, sir. Mr. Walrus, mm -hmm. I hereby sentence you to nurse the plaintiff, Mr. Woodpecker, back to <clears throat> health. In order to ensure that you comply with the letter of the law, I appoint this man to keep tabs on you. To please the mole, or it's life in prison. Are you okay, my little bird friend and pal? Volley will take good, good care of you. There you go. Is there anything I can do for you, my little woodpecker friend and pal of mine? Wally, would you fluff my pillow? There, is that better? <laughs> there we are, little friend and pal. Is there anything else that I might do for you? Well, now that you mention it, Wally, I had my doctor prepare a little list. Fresh mahi mahi? Why, that's preposterous. Oh, Wally. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, mahi mahi isn't in season for another week, yeah. I'll have it flown in from Maui. The fumes flew the top. Magazines, food trays, big screen TV, stereo with their CD player, hot tub. That's it. Enough of this molly coddling business. There. <laughs> this should look good at your sentencing. <laughs> Wally! Hurry up! As the Red Rises is almost on. I just need a glass of water. Oh. Ah. Wally! <laughs> Yump and yiminy. Why don't you wait a moment, you big... that be all for now, Mr. Woodpecker, sir? Mm-hmm. 
If you should need anything else, simply pull this cord and I'll be here in a yiffy. Now I must go to sleep. Night, Wally. Don't go far. I may need a neck rub. <laughs> sleep. Hey, Walrus, your snoring is keeping me awake. Would you go sleep someplace else? Oh, oh and bring me a glass of tepid milk, please. Wally? Wally, what's the matter? Hey, Wally, what's the matter? So, Dr. Nuts, the whole thing was a fraud. Well, apparently I was not aware that the little fellow was faking it. But, Your Honorship, sir, I, I assure you I... Silence! In light of this evidence, I have no choice but to sentence you, Mr. Woodpecker, to nurse this poor, helpless creature back to health. <laughs> Mother Nature! Ah, uh, I'm not here! Oh, yes, you are! You can't fool Mother Nature! <laughs> Mr. Woodpecker, our report shows you are 550,000 pecks behind even the laziest woodpecker. You are being demoted to a pigeon. But I'm a woodpecker. Not anymore. Now you're a pigeon. <laughs> No! I am a woodpecker! You can't do this to me! Please, Mother Nature, I gotta be promoted back to woodpecker! Do a good job as a pigeon, and you will be eligible for a review in no time. All right, let's get this show on the road. Where are the drinks and sandwiches? Uh, uh Mother Nature told me to expect you, uh, sit down! We pigeons have been having a problem regarding our uh, coverage. As you can see, statues are down by 23%. Our coverage on cars has maintained a, uh, a constant increase, uh, but, but there is always room for improvement. Now let's get Going! <laughs> oh, I see. First day and you're already uh, slacking, huh, smart guy? Now you shake your tail feathers or I'll see you never get a promotion back to a uh, woodpecker. Now get busy on those statues! I knew you were a slacker from the word wood. How do you expect to cover your area now? All done, sir. That's impossible. Coverage complete, sir. Yeah, but you ain't. Uh, how did you? Oh, that has got to be a pigeon record. You're up to something, and when I find out what it is, I will see you demoted to Dodo Bird. Okay, pigeons. Starting today, the company is bringing back an old pigeon standby. We're mounting a carrier pigeon squadron once more. Hey, but this time, no more little messages tied to the leg. This is the era of pigeon delivery. Well, guess I better get going. Can't talk now. 
There's work to be done and no time for fun. To New York, to Detroit, to Cleveland, to Seattle, to Bora Bora, Bora Bora. Oh, Bora Bora. Well, I finished my deliveries. Might as well enjoy some of that off time at the beach. Yeah, <laughs> excellent. We'll have this business licked in no time. Where is that good-for-nothing woodpecker? I have you now. You are busted now, mister. What is this? Well, sir, I did forget to deliver one package. It was returned to sender. Oh, you Nimrod! This was just across town. Follow me, and I'll show you how a real pigeon delivers. It sure is heavy. <sighs> what took you so long, Mac? You did. But, uh, you're up to something, woodpecker. And mark my words, I will bust you if it's the last thing I ever do as a pigeon! Apparently, we have some competition from these guys. You are swallows. They're moving in on our crumb-gathering territory. Let's show these swallows what it means to be a pigeon. Hurry, hurry, step right up, step right up. Free one-way tickets to San Juan Capistrano. Step right up. Free tickets for any bona fide swallows. Move along, move along. No shoving. There's enough seats for everyone. Yeah, why don't we do it? Let's do it now. What's your trick, Woody? Oh, just a crummy little idea. Get it? Crummy. <laughs> well, well, Woody. You've excelled in every job you were given. I see no reason why I shouldn't promote you better. To Woodpecker! Oh, Joy. Oh, boy. I love my beak. I can't wait to start pecking again. I knew he'd turn out fine. Mother Nature. Mother Nature, I've got it. I've got photos. Woody's been scamming us the whole time. Oh, well, I, well but, but I've already promoted him. Uh, yeah. Oh, well, you've got to do something. Yeah, I know. Turn him into a newt, a stink bug. How about an amoeba? No, I've got a better idea. <sighs> this is the life. It's good to be a woodpecker again. Mother Nature! Why, what a pleasant surprise. I, uh, I was just about to get to work. I've got a lot of trees to pack. Just a second. Listen, Woody, you did so well in the pigeon training squad that I've decided to promote you again. Another promotion. To what? Hawk. Eagle, you're bringing back the pterodactyl. <laughs> Congratulations. You are now in charge of training all woodpeckers. And here's your first student now. Hey, woodpecker. I'm here for six months of training, and I want to get every second of it on tape. Mother Nature, wait a second. Wait, wait, wait. Don't leave me like this. No. <laughs> Meanie, this anger business is gonna get the best of you if you aren't careful. If you can't control your rage, there's gonna be some serious consequences. Rage? Me? Why, Doctor, I'm surprised at you. You know I'm the picture of calmness and serenity. Now that's a step in the right direction. Here's your bill. What I mean? Let's see what's on the agenda for today. Sleep, 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 more sleep. The Healing Games! I've got to relax. Oh. Maybe I'll just take a nap. That'll help me unwind. <laughs> what? The 
you think you're doing? I'm getting ready for the Healand Games. Ugh, you're no Scotsman. You're just a woodpecker. Ugh, are you adopting the head, woman? Can't you see me, red man? I'm a woodpecker by birth, but I'm a muckpecker by the grace of God. Well, healing games or no healing games, I have a condition. This is a rooming house, and you know the rules. You have to be quiet. You are aggravating my condition. And you see, I'm trying to relax. I'll take it outside, lass. Hoot! Tis a bunny Scottish morn. How am I supposed to practice in all this mucky muck? I'll have to practice indoors. <laughs> I've got to practice for the wild card event, wrestling with the Loch Ness Monster. What am I going to use for Nessie? Looking mighty fierce this season, Nessie. But you're no match for a MacPecker. Perhaps a nice cup of tea will soothe my nerves. Huh? What are you doing up there that's taking up all my water pressure? Woohoo! I've got you now, Nessie. Now what's going on? in a towel, it'll only make a wee bit of noise. Are you insane? Not only have you interrupted my rest and destroyed this room, but you're starting to get on my nerves! But, but, the healing games... I don't care! I have to rest! What to do? I've got to train for the boulder toss. Ah, one heave couldn't harm anyone. Who's gonna notice one toss? my patience. I'm not going to tell you again to be quiet. You are aggravating my condition! Oh, dear. My condition. I have to call the doctor! Now, just calm down. I can't take this anymore! When you feel yourself getting aggravated, just count to ten. Oh, to ten! I left me caber back in me gym locker. I'm a disgrace to me clan. What am I to do now? There's a gift from the gods! Now, counting is very relaxing, Meanie. Go ahead. Try it. Okay. Here goes. One. <laughs> two. What have I done? I'll be kicked out of the clan for sure. Ugh. What a mess we got here. She's wired up all wrong. I'll just use a little McPacker know-how. We'll just wear the childhood memories into the anger. By the gripping mare, that ought to do her. Tis a great sight indeed. Good as new. Picker is at it again! This time I'll show no mercy! This time I'll... Oh, no. <laughs> Happy good woodpecker! 
Salon is killing my wig shop, Khan. I gotta get me some hard customers. Oh, a day of beauty. <laughs> Hairdresser wanted. Hmm, I know just the guy. <laughs> I'm your man for the job. Well, I sure could use the help. I'm swamped. How about me and Peachy going first? Is there any way you could squeeze me in first? No, me! Please, Winnie! You're hired. You just let me know if you need anything, and I'll check on you later. The only thing I need is some of your customers. I'll give them a shampoo that'll make them wig out for sure. <laughs> Follow me, ladies. We'll get you washed first. My hair must be handled with great care. I want Peachy's hair the same as mine. I need a shampoo and a leg wax. <laughs> and your little dog, too. <laughs> oh, I cracked me up. Oh, this is rich. <laughs> like I'm gonna be. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> Right. Oh, yes. <laughs> it's just uh, fine. Uh, you just relax now. May I look in the mirror? Can I have a look, too? experience in the hair business. Come with me, ladies. I know just how to help you. My uh, brother uh, can fix you gleaming gals up as good as new. What happened? Now I've lost all my best customers. Girl, you look marvelous. Wait a minute. I got it. It matches your red lips. Oh, does it? I've got just the one for you. Madam, that's totally you. This con is waking great. Shiny scalps equals mom's moolah. <laughs> now to steal some more of Winnie's customers. I 
I just don't understand how this happened. I didn't do anything differently today. Yo-ho! A Winnie! Huh. She must have left. All the better for me. So that's what it was. He's no hairdresser. He's a hair undresser. If you want to make it in the hair business, you gotta know how to cut it. This buzzard's gonna get what's coming to him. Ladies, wait! I can explain your hair. It wasn't my fault. It was that phony buzzard, Leroy. Come on, I'll prove it. There's the culprit. Caught in the act. All this in the name of dirty wig money. <laughs> oh, ladies, please. Give me some air. I feel faint. You don't believe that nasty woodpecker over moi? Prove it. Go on, pretty boy. Shut up! and I finally match. Look how silky and smooth my legs are now, thanks to your shampoo. Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! aboard my ship 20 years ago. Well, sir, we just made a big haul of bluefin tuna. Now, polar bears like fish. So do little penguins. Baby cradle and all. Rock a baby on the tree top. Pistol bin blows a cradle of rock. When the double eggs a cradle of a fall. And I won't get baby cradle at all. Oh, 
I'm a baby in three top, I'm a dog's cradle of rock, but I'm a baby cradle of fall, dog, a baby cradle of all. statement. Apparently, we don't know. Because of its hairy hide, the fur-bearing trout is only found in cold climates. It could be in northern Canada, the Arctic Circle, or even outside an igloo. Research shows the fur-bearing trout feeds on clothing to support his own fur. <coughs> The fur-bearing trout feeds on clothing to support its own fur. Yeah, it's all fun and games till somebody loses an eye with these things. Oh, and uh, thanks for the hat, bub. You gotta watch your hygiene there, bub. There's critters living down here. Help 
you there, bub. I got a business to run here. You gave up all rights to that hat when you used it for bait to try and catch me. I can't be giving it back. This ain't no lost and found. What? starting to get under my gills. That's the problem with this business. It's all laundry. Whites, darks, dry cleaning. A trout's work is never done. Trout season's over, kid. Didn't you get the memo? This is a genuine... Whoa! Listen, Beb, I need this coat in order to run my business here. Well, since saps like you think I'm the fur-bearing trout, they try to bait me with all these items of clothing. This coat is the key to the clothing empire you see before you. Without this coat, I'm just some old trout heading upstream for a good time. So, you're gonna have to stick to your own gig, bub, and leave me to mine. around, small fry. And action! We thought for sure his fur amongst all this snow would make him stick out like a sore thumb, but apparently, we didn't know. Huh? Listen, bub, I thought I told you to scram. Doug Nuts is here with his film crew to shoot an expose that will broadcast tonight on an exclusive pay-per-view that will air all around the world. Operators are standing by to take your order. If they find me, I'll be ruined for sure. You know what they do to fur baron trout imposters? Well, it ain't pretty. You gotta help me, little buddy. Come on, what can I do? The coat, you're right. The code. Take it and get out of here. Just take it. And some of these long johns, too. I'll be back, though. They can't keep Lefty the Trout out of the clothing business forever. No matter what the law says. So far, no sign of the little devil. But wait, what's that? It can't be. Ladies and gentlemen, thought to be extinct since before the Jurassic era, it's the fur-bearing penguin! Oh, uh, Mr. Penguin, wait! We'd like to ask you a few questions there. M Mr. Penguin? Hello? Come on, crew! Uh, hello? Stay on I, I say there, a, a word, focused. please, Mr. We'll get a reverse angle later on. Please. 